Hello there, this is Easy Engineering. This time we're going to talk about significant figures. In physics, we are engaged most of the time with measurements of things. One major problem that we encounter is the question, is it accurate or is it precise? So here, we introduce significant figures to eliminate or minimize the ambiguity of the values obtained during measurement or solving. Now there are several rules in identifying significant figures. First rule, non-zero digits are always significant. For example, 528. It has three significant figures and 8714 has four significant figures. Number two, or the second rule, any zeros between two significant digits are significant. For example, 4014. It has four significant figures and 2001. It has four significant figures. Third rule. Zeros after a non-zero digit in the decimal portion are significant. For example, 0 0.00500 has three significant figures and 0 0.0340 has four significant figures and 0 0.0506 has three significant figures. Number four. Trailing zeros in a whole number are not significant. For example, 2000, it has only one significant figure. And 25,000, it has two significant figures. Fifth rule, zeros between a decimal point and a digit are not significant. For example, 0 0.0005 has one significant figure. And 0 0.00005 has one significant figure. Number six, zeros between a digit and decimal point are significant. For example, 50, it has two significant figures, and 500, it has three significant figures. Seventh rule, zeros after this decimal point are significant. For example, 33.0 has three significant figures, and 11.00 has four significant figures. We can write it in scientific notation to change its number of significant figures like you just need to write in a manner that it can have certain number of significant figures. Now how about performing basic operation involving significant figures? There are also rules if you perform basic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. For addition and subtraction, you just add or subtract them in the normal way and round off your answer to the least number of decimal places of any number in the problem. For example, 12.4 plus 5.05. 12.4 has one decimal place and 5.05 has two decimal places. Our answer should be reported to the least number of decimal places, which is 1. Now we have 12.4 plus 5.05 is equal to 17.45. Then round off to the nearest tenths we have 17.5. Now the answer is 17.5. Another example, 30.567 minus 20.15. 30.567 has 3 decimal places, while 20.15 has 2 decimal places. Our answer should be reported to the least number of decimal places which in this case is 2. So we have 30.567 minus 20.15 is equal to 10.417. Then round off to the nearest hundreds we have 10.42. The answer is 10.42. For multiplication and division, the least number of significant figures in any number of the problem determines the number of significant figures in your answer. For example, 2.5 times 3.42 2.5 has two significant figures and 3.42 has three significant figures. So, our answer should also be reported with two significant figures, which is 8.55. Then round off to the nearest tens for us to have a two significant figure number. So we have 8.55. 8.6. The answer is 8.6. Another example, 4.520 divided by 
4.520 has 4 significant figures, while 3.10 has 3 significant figures. So, our answer should also be reported with 3 significant figures. So, we have 4.520 divided by 3.10 is equal to 1.4580645. Then, round off to the nearest hundreds for us to have a 3 significant figure number. So, we will be having 1.46. The answer is 1.46. That's it. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Easy Engineering.